What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're going to be starting a brand new account in Clash of Clans. This will also show you how to make a second or third or fourth or fifth account if you want to do that. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Let's hop right into it. Our brand new account series starting today. I think we're going to call it How to Clash. This will be episode one. So when you uh, log in with your Supercell ID, uh, you could disconnect and it'll take you to this screen. If you click play without Supercell ID, It'll actually start up a brand new account that you can link to a brand new email. And that's what we're doing here today. Welcome, Chief. We've sure been waiting for... It's been a while since I've gone through the tutorial and stuff. So we'll kind of have to see how this goes. The goblin's going to attack us. Uh, so we have to build out our cannon, build up our defenses. One little secret, guys, and I think we're going to go free-to-play on this series, meaning I'm not going to load any gems on it. We're going to do a true free-to-play. Don't spend your gems at the beginning. She's going to tell you to spend your gems, but don't do it, guys. Just wait it out. That 10 seconds, it's it's nothing. I mean, that's only 10 seconds. Goblins are going to come in. We're going to shoot them with our cannon. Oh, yeah. Easy stuff. I mean, shouldn't those goblins attack that gold mine, though, right there? I guess that's technical difficulties. <laughs> that was a close call. All right, guys. So we got our cannon up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take out the goblins. A little secret here also with the wizards. Don't put all five wizards in. You only need like two wizards to take out this cannon uh, effectively. If you put one in, that wizard will get taken out. But if you put two in, it'll take that that cannon out effectively. Saving you three wizards so you can use them to farm until you unlock them. Uh, which is actually a really good secret to know. So we get a little bit of loot right there. We get the three star on the little goblins. Oh, that's good stuff. So we need to get our village into fighting shape. We get our free... Oh, I guess it's not free because we have to spend the 250. We get our first builder's hut there. Uh, we get elixir collector. How do we build that first cannon if we didn't have... If we didn't have a... Oh, we ha okay, we did have a builder's hut. Okay, okay. Uh, so again, wait that time out, guys. Save that one gem. All right, so we have two builders available. We can get our elixir storage. Again, 10 seconds. Not that big of a deal, guys. Just wait it out. And that's going to be crucial early on. Don't spend your gems early. Save them for, like, boosting up armies. Uh, and save them for a little bit later into the game. And we'll talk about that kind of as we go on. I mean, yes, this is only one gem. And that's really not much. I mean, we have all kinds of stuff all over the village. Uh as far as cleanup and stuff goes we don't have any gem box to start with well, that's interesting i thought they would start us with a gem box uh so we need to get a barracks up to fight the goblins again another 10 seconds but as we kind of go on and i wonder if we can't even do it right now but as we go on we can remove some of these obstacles and get some gems so there we go 10 seconds take that out we can train up some troops uh, this, this one's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, for the video, we'll spend the one gem on that, but I would suggest waiting that out if you're starting a brand new account. So, right here, what we could do is we can go in and we can use just a couple, I feel like two might work, uh, a couple barbarians, and then we can use our wizards to take out that archer tower. Bam. Perfect, that works out. That way we're not spending a ton of elixir. We're gonna be nice and frugal at the beginning of the game. That way we can uh, try to get as much stuff done as possible without using as much loot as possible. Does that make sense? I feel like it should. So there we go, we get another little three star there. Refilling our loot, which is really good. Uh, that was great. How should you know, be known in history? Let's make this account uh, Clash Bashy. I'm Clash Bashy, that makes sense. Let's uh, maybe an exclamation point. I'm Clash Bashings. Uh, the gold we took from the goblins, we can upgrade the town hall. So you can never start town hall one unless you like just literally stop right here. So we have to upgrade to town hall two, which is great. Uh, we will wait out that 10 seconds. When you go up to the next town hall, though, remember you have to place all the buildings down before you go up to the following town hall. But that's, I mean, that's no big deal. So now we can get new buildings and thanks to the town hall upgrade. Great stuff. We can look at for new changes. There's our low profile awesome stuff lots of achievements that's how we're gonna get our free gems but we gotta start playing guys so we get some new stuff uh let's talk about the village in general one of the things that you'll get and i think this unlocks at town hall three i don't think you can actually get it at town hall two is the clan castle where we can make a clan and i think what we're gonna do not in this episode in a future episode is we're gonna make a fan clan just a brand new clan that i'm just gonna have you guys join and we'll talk about that as we kind of get there uh we'll look at the four you we got judo and klaus and they're teaching us how to you know make a base and all that good stuff we actually have the sorcerer storm event going on still and the lava hounds which is awesome stuff 
So let's start working on our base. Let's get stuff like our gold mine going. And again, we have two builders, so we could just get them going as that 10 seconds works. We can also, you know, work on removing some of these smaller obstacles. Some of the bigger ones are going to be pricier. But we could do some of those smaller ones. We can do another barracks. That way our troops are going to train up faster, which is awesome. Definitely, I mean, there's no point of not getting all this stuff down. So we might as well just go ahead and do it. Uh, we'll get our cannon going down. We have to, if we want to go to build or, or Town Hall 3. I was almost said Builder Hall. That's weird. We have to get all the buildings down anyways. So uh, you might as well go ahead and just get them all down and get them working up. So there we go. We'll get our walls going in. Uh, let's put them like over here. 25 walls. Oh, we don't have enough gold. Did I spend a gem? Okay, I didn't spend a gem. So we have to, you know, we have to get some more gold. We can also... Oh, okay. I had to hit the X. I was like, why is that not, not let me do anything? We can also remove stuff like that mushroom right there to get some free gems, which is awesome. I definitely recommend clearing out all of the debris you don't have to do it right away but that way more can spawn and you can get free gems these spawn i believe like every eight hours you get an item or something like that you want to clear those out that way you get free gems which is going to help us a little bit later on and help us uh progress through the game so we'll do that we can actually go in we can train up some barbarians also uh we'll just train up a ton of barbarians that way we can go out and we can uh farm we can do all that great stuff now we do start with a small shield i'm gonna start keep removing these little things we do start off with a very small shield of three days but i don't think we necessarily need that shield of three days and we'll talk about that right after i clear out a couple more of these we don't have elixir so we gotta go out and get some loot we get an achievement and that's where some of our gems are going to come from is doing the achievements read through these and see where you can get some free gems. Again, try not to spend gems on stupid stuff like upgrades, but save them for like boosting your armies and stuff like that. So let's go out. So if we take a look at this goblin output, we can get 1,000 gold or 1,500 elixir. And it's not too hard to beat. We should be able to take it out pretty easily. We put our uh, few barbs in there and take out that stuff like that. And we get some loot, which works out really well for us, you know, as we're progressing through uh town hall 2 here it's a great way to you know kind of get some easy free loot but we can also go out and do multiplayer battles now this will lower our shield down and we'll have to take on defenses but we're not going to be holding a ton of loot anyways so i don't think that's a big deal but for now the goblin maps will do well for us we'll be able to get all the loot that we need uh just from doing the goblin maps they're pretty easy we used our last wizard up right there so flash a lot the musical nice clash Rama. Love watching Class Rama. Uh, let's uh, do defenses. We'll finish up our walls right here. That way, if we really wanted, we could go to Town Hall 3 right now. But our base needs a little bit of work. We're going to work on, you know, getting our collectors up and upgrading everything as high as we can for Town Hall 2. That's one of the most important things when you start playing Clash. Don't rush your base. I mean, at the lower Town Halls, it's not as big of a deal, but don't get in the habit of rushing your bases. Take the time to upgrade all the way. So we're going to go ahead, train up some more Barbarians. I don't think it's worth boosting down this low. Just wait out the time. It's not that long. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait out uh, for those Barbarians to come up. We're going to get... Uh, we're going to wait for these to get up, and then we'll uh, we'll go out and hit some farming raids or something. All right, guys, so all that little stuff finished, and what we could actually do is we could unlock our archers, which is a 30-minute upgrade, which is not too bad. We might as well unlock the archers, get that going. I'm going to go ahead, and I guess we'll do one barracks at a time. But the most important thing to do, like, right about now is think about saving your base. You want to link that base to Facebook or Supercell ID, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to link it to Supercell ID. We're going to click on that red button. And then instead, don't do login because if you log into another account, it'll load up the other account's progress. You want to do register now, which is going to register this to a new email. You're going to click continue, put in your details. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys. So once you type in your email and click register, they're going to send you a code. You type that in, hit submit, and that will link your Supercell ID. That way, this account is now saved uh with the supercell id definitely recommend doing that and then you can just switch throughout your accounts all you have to do is hit that green connected button it'll disconnect you can switch throughout very simple stuff so we're a little low on loot here guys if we take a look we're pretty low like we don't really have much to upgrade anything but we could upgrade that mine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out uh we have our 20 barbarians 
we're gonna go out and I want to see how the matchmaking now this is gonna cost 50 gold but I want to just see how this kind of works uh, just down here at the lower town halls because I remember I would just wait out the shield so we can do a few next so I guess it'll be better to hit the goblin map rather than hit a lower town hall. That's kind of what I wanted to see here. If you see, I mean, those are really low offers. And I wanted just to see if it was better to hit the goblin map or go out and hit some free or some multiplayer battles. So I think the goblin map is going to be the right decision right here. There's a little bit of a hole right in this base. We can use some of our barbarians to get in there and take out all that lovely stuff. Take out those cannons and then work in towards the top those little baby barbarians are so weak oh my goodness they're so weak and we get a bomb going off all right let's see if we got enough barbs to get in there and finish this one off go guys go that cannon's taking you out i feel like we should be okay all right we got some barbarians going towards the cannon is it gonna be enough though i'm gonna put a few more in because they're going down fast we might have to put them all in guys we might lose this raid okay we're not gonna lose we got the 50 percent I was trying to be conservative and not use as many barbarians, but those little barbs, they're not very strong, so we had to use almost all 20 of them. We used 19 of our barbarians. Not a big deal there. I mean, they're not super expensive. We'll get a good amount of loot, 1,500 elixir, 1,000 gold. Pretty solid stuff. And then what you want to do is make sure you always have barbarians training up, and then also, you know, have those archers training up. Some people here might be tempted to gem that barracks upgrade, don't do it, guys. I know it's only eight gems, but save those eight gems, guys. That way you have that later on. I'm just seeing how much this stuff kind of costs to remove here. 500 for those stones. And that's stuff we can wait a little bit later on. Mushroom's only 100, so we can get that going. And let's see, we can upgrade. We can upgrade stuff like this. Oh, we got to wait on that uh, we, that bush to get taken out there. Uh, the mushroom so we could upgrade stuff like that kind of wait it out let it go we're not going to uh use those gems it's better for us just to wait here and wait out this time so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to wait out these times and i think what we'll do is uh, we'll hit another goblin map here in a second and we're just going to get ready to go up to town hall three we want to make sure that everything is maxed out for town hall two and then go up to town hall three so we're going to work on all that stuff, and we're going to keep at it. I'll be back with you guys here in about 15 minutes or so. All right, guys, so our gold mine is almost finishing up there. We did get a little achievement for defeating goblins for five gems, so if you notice, my gems are higher. That is why. So while that's going, we do have barbarians ready. Let's go out and attack another goblin map. Uh, cannons on the outside, so great. We could just take out these cannons. I think we do like five goblin or five barbarians on each. Should be able to take it out. And the reason I'm only doing like five, I'm trying to use as little troops as possible just to save resources because uh, when you're first starting out, those resources are a little bit more precious, you know, they're not as easy to come by, but that's not as big of a deal if you do end up using all 20 barbarians, it's not that super expensive, you'll be all right. But like I said, I'm just trying to conserve as much as possible, uh, that way, you know, we get as much value out of these as possible. I mean, we could have probably done like four barbarians on each, really, if you wanted to. Uh, bomb goes off there, but we still have enough to get through. Hopefully there's no other bombs. Another bomb could really hurt us, but let's see. Bombs are going to get through there. Take out all those buildings. And I don't really know like what the goal for this account to be is. Uh, I know we're going to do free to play. I'm not going to load any gems on it. Uh, but as far as like what the objective is, I don't know, guys. We're just going to kind of play it and see how it goes. Uh, this will be like a, you know, a new series that we could throw in every once in a while once or twice a week or something just to kind of catch up on i feel like i want to play most of it on video or i don't well i guess as we do the free to play i guess that's not as viable i don't know i want i don't know what do you guys think what do you guys think we should really do with this let me know down in the comment section for sure we can upgrade our army camp but we don't have quite enough but we do need to get stuff like our storage is up this will lead to our clan castle and stuff like that going up so what we're going to do is we're going to continue just to work on this base keep it going up kind of the same way we have just waiting up the times being patient and using the goblin map for loot but don't use don't attack on the goblin map unless you absolutely need the loot like if we attacked on the goblin map right now there would be an overflow of elixir so just save up that stuff and use it you know to upgrade your buildings and then as we kind of get everything upgraded we'll go to town hall three and well that'll be the next episode going to town hall three but for now what i want you guys to do if you're starting off a brand new account 
Uh, use those barbarians. Use those archers when you unlock them. And just upgrade everything on the base for now. And then, you know, a little bit later this coming week, we will show going off to uh, Town Hall 3. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. The start of a brand new series. Pretty exciting stuff, guys. Pretty exciting stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.